Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor, and today I'm going to be showing you how to force a Windows batch file to ask for administrative privileges when it opens. So first off, you gotta make a batch file. Right click, new, text document, just call this um, test. You wanna open it, Let's do something like echo. This is a te test doc document period save minimize it actually right click on it right click on it rename change the dot txt to dot bat yes if you cannot see the extension right here you want to go into your uh, explorer go to you won't see this tab bar unless you have Qt tab bar installed it's a very useful tool apparently it crashes on Windows 10 or something but I'm on Windows 7 as a result of that I'm using Qt tab bar and it works fine for me I can have separate tabs at, open at the same time in one explorer window it's great uh, it's free as well. So you want to go to Tools, Options, and you want to go to View, and scroll down to Hide Extensions for Known File Types. By default it is checked. If you uncheck it, hit OK or Apply, and then hit OK, then it will show you extensions for known file types. So that's how you do that. If you cannot see this bar, by default on Windows 7 it does not show the menu bar that's a QT tab bar thing I think I think QT tab bar puts that in there or something does or classic shell or something I don't know but by default you will not see this so you'll have to go to layout menu bar once you finish that go back to your batch file you wanna right click on it make sure it okay it works so you wanna double click on it I will slow this down in post so that you can see it see that and now it is going at slow motion so what we want to do now is we want to force it to run with administrative privileges We want to right click on it do create shortcut so we've got this shortcut right here it works just the same see right click properties and now we go to advanced it might be on the general tab I don't know but you want to be on the shortcut tab click on advanced click run as administrator click OK and OK now you want to double click it again it now asks me for my password hit enter and as you could see it showed and then it went away so I'm going to do it again in post this will be much slower but if you want to see what that looked like without having the slow motion. I'm opening the command prompt. I'm gonna drag in the, either one works. They're exactly the same file. Enter. This is a test document. This is a test document. There we go. That should clear things up for some people. Um, this will work on separate folders. So if I just delete this file, yes, create a new folder. Just name it new folder. I put this inside the new folder, open it up, move it right here, right click, send to, desktop, and this is the same file, exactly the same file, right click on the shortcut that you made on the desktop, click advanced, run as administrator, click OK, OK, and then you double click on it, it asks you again for your password. You can actually move you the user account control window around. So you type in uh, your your password and enter, and then it runs. You can do this in any folder. You can even keep both files. I have to delete this one, um, and then make a n make a new shortcut. You can even have like you've got two of these. Move this over. Yeah, delete that you've got two of these one of my subscribers asked me if it was possible to have it like this but have one it be administrative privileges 
but not show this one basically if that would be possible and the way you do that is you have the original one put it on your desktop and then you create a shortcut for it right click on the shortcut one properties advanced administrator okay and then you right click on the original one you click properties then you click hidden then you click okay now this is hidden uh, by default you won't be able to see this in order to view hidden files you go my computer tools folder options view hidden files and folders by default it's don't show hidden files folders or drives you want to change that to show hidden files folders and drives then you want to hit OK then you want to get out of that minimize that and then as you can see well it's actually and then as you can see you can actually you can no longer see the other file over here so that's how that works if we double click on this file right here type in the password and it ran so hopefully that helps people out there my previous video on this topic was very long and very off topic I hope this video helped please consider subscribing if you found this video helpful please comment in the comment section down below on anything else that you would like me to make a video on and please check the description make sure you check the description for anything that I forgot in this video and any of my links to my other stuff like my second channel uh, my Facebook page and my website so thank you and have a great day goodbye